when they first meet me, they don't know what to do about this. It gets really tense, it gets really uncomfortable. You guys remember. <laughs> but a lot of times people just can't handle it all. They, like, they just can't handle that moment of meanness. So they have to make it right for themselves. So what they do to ease that tension is they'll mention something to me that I can't do and then say that sucks. But they pick such weird stuff. I don't know if I should get mad at them, if I should hug them. I'll give you some examples. One guy, he was like, oh, oh, Ryan, dude, Ryan, that sucks. You can't even like yo-yo. <laughs> yep, that's the one. That's the one keeping me up at night. That's the one I just can't get past. <laughs> this next one actually came from an eight-year-old girl, which was awesome. Because if you're ever feeling pretty good about yourself, let an eight-year-old girl verbally kick you in the nuts. That'll fix that for you. <laughs> this little girl, after she saw me, and after she screamed, after she screamed, it was a big scream too, which, side note, has led me to a new game that I play. Uh, now when I'm out in public and I see children staring at my arms, I like to pretend that I'm discovering them for the first time too. <laughs> I'll be like, what are you looking? Oh my God, what happened? Call somebody! <laughs> That's why I'm not allowed to Toys R Us anymore. 